Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Shadows and Eclipses. Knowledge Acquisition. In this chapter, we will study about the luminous and non-luminous objects. The reflection of light. How light travels. The shadows. The solar and lunar eclipses. We see many things around us in our daily life from the moment we wake up in the morning. We are able to see the things because light that falls on the objects bounces off and travels through space to reach our eyes. Luminous and non-luminous objects. Things that give us light are called luminous objects such as torch, tube light, fire, candle, lamp, electric bulb, sun, stars, etc. While things that do not produce light are called non-luminous objects such as wood, stone, chair, tree, etc. are some examples of non-luminous objects. Reflection of light. Non-luminous objects can be seen only when light falls on them and bounces off their surface to reach our eyes. This bouncing off of light is called reflection. How light travels? Light travels in the form of rays. It does not need any medium to travel through. It can even travel through vacuum. Passage of light through objects. Light can pass through a few substances like grass and water. Substances that allow light to pass through them are called transparent substances. Light cannot pass through some substances like wood, stone and metal. Substances that do not allow light to pass through them are called opaque substances. Some substances allow only a little light to pass through them. Such substances are called translucent substances. Thin paper, dark glasses and water with particles of various substances are examples of translucent substances. Light travels in a straight line, light rays travel in a straight line. When you switch on a torch in darkness, the light appears to travel straight ahead. Similarly, when sunlight filters through a small hole into a dark room, it appears in a straight line. We can verify the straight line motion with the help of an activity. Take three cardboard pieces. Pierce a hole in each one of them so that the distance of each hole from the base of the cardboard is the same. Fix the three cardboards on a table as shown in the picture. Make sure that the three holes remain in one straight line. Light a candle at one end, keeping a flame at the same height as the holes. Look through the other side. We can see the flame of the candle. It is because the holes are in straight line and allow light to pass through them to reach our eyes. Now, push any of the cardboards a little to one side, what happens? Can you see the light beam now? Now, you don't what does this show? It shows that light travels in a straight line. Shadow By now we know that light travels in a straight line. We also know that light cannot pass through opaque objects. So, when light is stopped by an opaque object, a dark area called shadow is formed on a surface behind the object. Characteristics of shadow Three things are needed for the formation of a shadow. 1. A light source. 2. An opaque object. 3. An opaque screen or surface where the shadow is to be formed. Position of shadow. Observe the formation of shadow in the diagram. A shadow is always formed opposite to the source of light. Shape of shadow. The shape of shadow depends the angle in which light falls on it or the shape of the part of the object that blows the path of light. 
Size of a shadow The size of a shadow is long when the light source is placed along the length of an object, and it is short the light source is placed along the width of an object. We must have seen that the length of our shadow on the ground keeps changing at different time of the day. In the morning and evening, the sun is positioned quite low in the sky and our shadow is long. When the sun is placed overhead in the afternoon, our shadow becomes small. The size of a shadow decreases when the object is moved towards the screen. The size of shadow increases when the object is moved towards the light source. A shadow usually has two parts an area of complete darkness at the center known as the umbra and an area of partial darkness at the edges known as penumbra. The umbra receives no light from the source while penumbra receives only some light from the source. A large source of light forms a shadow with an umbra and penumbra. A small source of light forms only an umbra. Eclipses An eclipse is an astronomical event that occurs when an astronomical object is temporarily obscured by passing into the shadow of another body or by having another body pass between it and the viewer. Very often we hear about the occurrence of solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse Solar means related to the sun. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun as seen from the earth. The type of solar eclipse event depends on the distance of the moon from the earth during the event. When the sun is completely blocked by the moon, it is called a total eclipse. A total solar eclipse under the most favorable circumstances. A total solar eclipse can be viewed last for 7 minutes 31 seconds. Lunar eclipse. Lunar means related to the moon. Lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. Since this occurs only when the moon is on the far side of the Earth from the sun, lunar eclipses only occur when there is a full moon. Unlike a solar eclipse, an eclipse of the moon can be observed from nearly an entire hemisphere. For this reason it is much more common to observe a lunar eclipse from a given location. Continuous Review We are able to see the things when light bounces off it and travels space to reach our eyes. Torch, tube light, candle, electric bulb, CFL, sun, stars, etc. are luminous objects because they produce light. Non-luminous objects do not produce light. Light travels in the form of rays. Substances that allow only a little to pass through them are called translucent substances. A shadow is formed when anything blocks the way of light. Shadow is long in morning and evening time. An eclipse occurs when an astronomical object is temporarily obscured. Like, share and subscribe.